Okay, 10.2, we're gonna go over Taylor's theories. Okay, so basically in 10.1, we learned a little bit about constructing it at x equals zero and then x equals a. We kind of talked about it. Well, today, we're going to learn how to construct these expanded polynomials. At x equals 0 and the x equals 8. So remember me talking about the formula for x equals 0 and x equals 8. Okay, I'm going to try to go slow. It almost takes a full page to show you how to expand one of these out. And then uh, I'll just keep doing a few of them. It looks like I've got three of them. Or no, four of them. I can show you four examples. So, um, I'm just going to start doing an example. Um, the natural log of 1 plus x. And we're going to use, it's called Taylor series, it's, a, it's called constructing the expanded polynomial at x equals 0. And we'll do the x equals a, um, not till about the third problem do I expand it out um, using a different number. So, this is what you're going to do, and I'll show you the formula in a minute. Okay, so you're going to do... It doesn't matter what letters you use, but I'm going to do p sub 0 of 0. And then you're going to do p sub 1 of 0. And then you're going to do the polynomial of second derivative of 0. And the third. And we'll get to the fourth one. Okay, so p sub 0 means the initial equation. And this is the initial equation. And all you're going to do is you're going to put 0 up there and the natural log of 1 is 0. So I'm done with that one. Okay, the next thing i got to do is I have to take the derivative of that and then put the 0 in. So what's the derivative of the natural log of 1 plus x? Remember the original goes on the bottom, the derivative goes on the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug 0 in there and I'm going to end up getting 1. Then I'm going to find the double derivative, which is a negative 1 over 1 plus x squared, which is going to take time to even do that. All of these theories in Chapter 10 take a very long time. I think I'm giving you like, I don't even know, I'll have to look how many weeks I'm giving you for just this chapter. Um, I don't think it's very hard. It's definitely time consuming. Well, it's hard, but it's time consuming too. When you put 0 in there, you're going to get a negative 1. When you put the third derivative, the third derivative, if you work that out, is 2 over 1 plus x to the third. Um, you guys should be able to work these out and figure out the first, the second, the third, the fourth derivative. Um, the next derivative is a negative 6 over 1 plus x to the fourth. Um, so maybe you want to make sure you know how to find the derivative. When you plug 0 in, you get um, 2. And when you plug 0 in, you get a negative 6. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you need to come up with the formula. And here are the two formulas. So I was, well, let's see. Where should I put these? Um, let's just do, I'm going to bring it down here and put the formula. This is a really, 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 really important. So make sure you know these. Define the term and define the term. It's P N of zero x minus 0 to the nth divided by n factorial. And that is at x equals 0. That's how you find the term. To find the term, for the other one, it's pn of 0. 
and it's going to be the A value. Sorry, Pn of A, sorry, divided by N factorial times X minus A to the N at X equals A. So, for the first couple of problems, we're only going to do this formula, and then we're going to add this one in. But make sure you know this formula, and it looks really confusing, but here, how, this is how it works. P n sub 0. So all you're going to do is you're going to start out with n being 0, and n is 0 at the first one right here. So I'm going to show you how to get it. It's p um, 0 at 0 over 0 factorial times x minus 0 to the 0. So that's the first one, and this is what you get. Zero factorial is always equal to one. P sub zero equals zero. All I'm going to do is take this and substitute it in for here, which ends up being zero. So zero times everything is just zero. So that's my first one. Okay, my second one is going to be P one of zero all over 1 factorial times x minus 0 to the first power. Okay, so what is P10? P10 is right here. It stands for 1. So in place of that, I'm going to put a 1 divided by 1 factorial is just 1. Remember, just really quick what a factorial is. It's been a while. If you do 3 factorial, it's 3 times 2 times 1. What's 4 factorial? 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Um, where do you find this button on your calculator? Go under Math, go under Probability, and you'll find the factorial button. Okay, let's keep um, doing this Taylor theory. You're going to expand it out, and you're going to do the second derivative of 0 over 2 factorial, x minus 0 to the second power. Oh, I didn't finish that one. I'm sorry. Let's go back up to finish this one. Okay, P10 is 1. I did 1 factorial, which is 1. X minus 0 to the first is just X. So what are you left with? 1 times X, which is X. Okay, the next one, when you plug this in, you get negative 1. So in place of that, I'm going to put negative 1. What is 2 factorial? It's 2 times 1, which is 2. X minus 0 to the second is just X. Um, you can leave it like that, or you can write it as a negative x squared over 2. Same thing. And then you keep going. The next one is the third derivative. So it's p3, 0, over 3 factorial, x minus 0 to the third, which ends up being 2 over 3 factorial, which is 6 x to the third. The book is going to write it as x to the third over 3, because 2, 6 is 3. Okay, um, the fourth one, this will be the last one. Um, p4 of 0 over 4 factorial, x minus 0 to the fourth, which is equal to, um, well, this right here is equal to 6. This right here is x to the fourth. And 4 factorial is, let me think about what 4 factorial is. It's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24, which is going to give you x to the 4th over 4. So, this is the answer that the book will have. They won't write the 0 down. Okay, the answers are sitting right here. This is what they want for the answers. This one, this one, this one, this one. And this one written in expanded form. So this is all you do. Final answer. Final answer. I'm not going to write the zero down. X minus X squared over 2 plus X cubed over 3 minus X4 four over 4. Final answer. I just learned, remember in the last chapter, I just, what is this equal to? 
this is equal to the natural log of 1 plus x. I just took this and I expanded it out. If you look back at um, 10.1, they gave it to you. You didn't know how to make one of these. Okay, let's do one more. Page number two. We're going to do um, construct a power series of the sine of x at x equals zero. We haven't gotten off of zero, and I'll show you later. So I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with p sub 0 at 0, p sub 1 at 0, p sub 2 at 0, p 3 at 0, I don't know why, but they're going to keep doing p 4 at 0, and p v, which is 5 at 0. I don't know why they're doing so many, but they are, so you just got to go with it. Um, so, P sub 0 is the original problem with the derivative of sine, cosine, with the derivative of cosine, negative sine, with the derivative of sine, negative sine, a negative cosine. This is going to end up being the sine of x, and this is going to end up being the cosine of x. Okay, what are you going to do? You're going to put 0 in for all of these. And what I need to do is probably draw a picture of 0, because this is probably a non-calculator. What is the sine at 0? It's 0. It's the second one. What's the cosine at 0? 1. This one's 0 again. This one's a negative 1. This one's sine at 0 is 0. And the cosine is 1 again. Um, so it goes 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay. You need to come up with how to come up. So it's P0 of 0. Do you remember this? Over 0 factorial. X minus 0 to the second, not to the second, X minus 0 to the 0. And what are you going to get? Well, this is ending up being 0, and anything times 0 is 0. So it doesn't always end up being 0. It just so happens that my first two answers ended up being zero. Okay, the next one. P1 of 0 over 1 factorial over x minus 0 to the first. P1, 0 is 1 over 1, which is 1, x. So then my first one is x. The next one. P double prime of 0 over 2 factorial over x minus 0 to the second ends up being 0. Because this is 0, so all of this is 0 right here, and anything times 0 is 0. Okay, the next one, I can almost do this one being 0 also. I'm going to have to work it out. Um, P, P3 of 0, 3 factorial, x minus 0 to the third power. You're going to get a negative 1. 3 factorial is 6, x to the third. And I think the book will write it as a negative x to the third over 6. Okay, the next one I said was 0. I will do one more. That's why there's so many. And most of these are 0. P, um, v of 0 over 5 factorial is x minus 0 to the fifth which is equal to 1 over 5 factorial. I don't know what 5 factorial is. I'm going to quickly use my calculator to come up with it. Go put 5 down, go under math, go under probabilities, and you'll see factorial. 5 factorial is 120x to the fifth. The book will write it as x to the fifth over 120. I've also seen the book write it like this. So it doesn't matter. I don't care what you do. You can leave it as x to the fifth over 5 factorial if you want to. I think the book, if you don't like the 6, you can write it as 3 factorial. I don't care. I don't care. Um, so you just keep doing it. And again, the final answer is, well, the first one is a 0. You have to write this one, this one, and 
this one. So my final answer is um, x, I think it was, wasn't it? x minus x to the third over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial. And I think you get the next one. I don't think you even have to work it out. It goes positive, negative, positive, negative, x to the seventh, seventh factorial. And it just keeps going on and on and on and on. What is this called? It's called taking a function, like the sine of x, and writing it out as a power function. Power means to the x to the seventh or whatever. You know. Okay, now we're going to get into what happens if it's not at zero. What happens if it's at two or some other number? So I'm going to end up doing, looks like I'm going to do two of those. So we'll start with an easy one. We're going to do make a Taylor series. At x equals two for f of x equals e to the x. Okay, this was an easy one. That's why I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to do one more, and that's about it. Okay, so how do you do x equals 2? It's the same concept. I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start, I don't like doing f. I like using the p. It doesn't matter. p sub 0 at 2, p derivative at 2, double derivative at 2, um, and let's just go to 3 derivative to at 2. Okay, so again, zero means the original, so put e to the f. What's the derivative of e to the f? e to the f. What's the derivative of e to the x? e to the x, e to the x. So that's why I'm doing this one. The derivatives turn out to be easy. And what happens is, aren't they all going to be e squared? They're all e squared. I just substitute in place of x minus 2. Okay, how do we write this now? This is new. Kind of watch how do we do these. It's similar. So here's the formula. Um, it's kind of confusing, but it's right here. It's right here. It's still p0, but now you're not going to put a 0 there. You're going to put a 2. And you're not going to put a 0 there. You're going to put a 2. But everything else stays the same. So here we go. Um, for the first one, you are going to put in... Um, I will write it out. P sub 0 divided by 0 factorial. X minus 2 to the 0. See what I did? Um, not much change. I mean, this is... That should have been P sub 0 of 2. That should have been P sub 0 of 2. Sorry. P sub 0 of 2. All over 0 factorial x minus 2 to the 0 power. Okay, you have to put what's in place up here is e to the second. 0 factorial is 1. And x minus 2 to the 0 power is 1. So what you get for the first one is e to the second. Okay, now the next one is p1 of 2 over 1 factorial over x minus 2 to the third. So what do you get? I will get p12. p12 is e to the second. 1 factorial is 1. You're left with just x minus 2. Okay, the next one, p double prime of 2 over 2 factorial, x minus 2 to the second. You get e to the second, because these are always e to the second. Um, x minus 2 now to the second. Um, I'm just going to leave it as 2 factorial. I think that's the way the book is going. And the last one, um, p3 of 2 over 3 factorial over x minus 2 to the third. Final answer, e to the second. They leave it at 3 factorial, x minus 2 to the third. Um, so... What does e to the x look like in expanded form? e to the x is equal to this. It's equal to e to the second 
plus e to the second x minus 2 plus e to the second x minus 2 to the second over 2 factorial plus e to the second x minus 2 to the third over 3 factorial. And it goes on and on and on and on. So I learned how to write the original and I learned how to make a Taylor series. Okay, one more problem. And I think that's about it. Um, find the third digit order of Taylor polynomial. Of f of x equals 2x to the third plus minus 3x to the third plus 4x minus 5. At x equals 2. And they want the third order. So p sub 0 of 1, p sub 1 at 1, p double prime at 1, and p third order is third degree, which is 1. Okay, this shouldn't take long because the beginning one is just 2x to the third minus 3x to the second plus 4x minus 5. Yes, I made a mistake. This should be to the second power. Okay, what's the derivative of that? The derivative of that is 6x squared minus 6x plus 4. The derivative of that is 12x minus 6. And the derivative of that is 12. Obviously, you can't even go any farther. So, let's come up with the Taylor theory. So, it's p sub 0 of 0 over 0 factorial of x minus 1. Take it again. Start again, I'm sorry. It's p sub 0 of 1 over 0 factorial x minus 1 to the 0. Okay. Oh, I forgot to log these in. One more time. Let's fi figure out what these answers are at 1. When you put 1 in here, you get a negative 2. When you put 1 in here, you get 4. When you put 1 into the next one, you get 6. When you really can't plug 1 in, you get 12. Now I'm going to start one more time. P of 0 at 1 all over 0 factorial of x minus 1 to 0. Okay. You're going to get a negative 2 up here, you're going to get 1 here, and you're going to get x minus 1 to the 0, which is 1. So you're just going to get a negative 2 to the 0. you understand how we got that? A negative 2 divided by 1, anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so you just get a negative 2. Okay, the next one, p sub 1 of 1 over 1 factorial, over x minus 1 to the first. p101 is 4. So you're just going to get 4 parentheses x minus 1. I'm not going to simplify it. p double prime of 1 over 2 factorial, x minus 1 to the second. You are going to get 6 over x minus 1 squared over 2 factorial. We lost it. We do not simplify it. Last one. P3 of 1 over 3 factorial. x minus 1 to the third. P31 is 12. x minus 1 to the third over 3 factorial. So, what does P... What does that equal? It equals f of x is equal to this expanded. A negative 2 plus 4 x minus 1 plus 6 x minus 1 squared over 2 factorial plus 12 x minus 1 to the third 3 factorial. So now you know how to do series. Okay, now I want you to open up your books to page. Um, Page 495. Open up your books to page 495. 
Okay, looking on page 495, if you look at the Mosclerian series, it's the Taylor series at x equals 0. Um, basically, they gave you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them. These are the seven, if, if you sat there and did those, we did some of them. Um, we did the third one down, we did e to the x. e to the x is equal to that. If you do all of those, that's what you get. You do not have to memorize these. You don't have to memorize them because you just did them by using the formula. So on the AP test, you do not have to memorize these theories. You should know how to set up these theories. And I showed you how to set up these Maclarian theories. Maclarian theories is a Taylor series at x equals 0.